Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey of love. And um, I am going to share today from the Wisdom of Love Oracle. And um, I am going to ask Spirit, what does Spirit want to tell us to help us, you know, for... Um, and what's been going on recently it's always you know the same sort of questions just wanting to know how can we best manage these energies how can we best get into that space of openness and kind of open-hearted and um being uh open for the miracles and the magic and because you know some days we're in the flow some days we're not so much in the flow we're uh, the human experience is a gambit of everything. So let's have a look. Oh, a card actually fell out. And what was it? We are between, and why is it? Because we're between the worlds. We're going from the shadow and that's so interesting. So this morning um, I was with my friend and my goddaughter and um, she wanted to watch this new Peter Pan film. And... Um, and in it, um, the Peter Pan chases his shadow and I'd forgotten that part of the story. And um, and he's not a complete person and he's not complete unless he actually has his shadow as well. Um, and that I remember. So doing all of the sort of over this, you know, path of all the different courses and, and sort of learnings that I've done. It's one of the things that I went on was a shamanic course. And um, uh, one of the, the um, we had to do a journey to go and meet our shadow. And I remember at the time thinking, oh, if I'd known that, then I probably wouldn't have signed up to this course. <laughs> but exactly, those are the things that you know that you need to do um, if you're hesitant around it, you know, because it pushes you out of your comfort zone. Anyway, and when I did the journey um, and uh, with the, so the shaman sort of like talked, so was doing the drumming exercise and we went on a journey and um, and when I went to meet the shadow, the, the first I couldn't even, it, the shadow was in a wardrobe and you could open the door and at the first I was like, I can't open the door, I can't open it, I can't open it. And then eventually I did open it and out steps me. So like literally my, my the image. And of course, that's so the lesson is the only person that holds you back is you. And the only person that is stopping you from achieving, you know, everything that you want to achieve is you. <laughs> so and so out comes me. And I was like, well, why? What was I so frightened about? What was I so resistant to? looking at and of course then that goes through all the journey of the healing process so and this morning it was all about that because it was all about peter pan and you know the childhood um the the remembrance of how to live like a child you know to see that childlike wonder and to appreciate your shadow because without the shadow you're not your full self and uh, so anyway, so yeah, Between Worlds, that's the exact, that is exactly what I was uh, watching this morning and just seeing it in a completely different light now um, because it has, again, so many hidden messages in it. Uh, so, okay, so we are, yes, we are facing our shadows to see the land of milk and honey. <laughs> because we need to appreciate the rainbow and trust in the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Um, and to believe in the manifestation of everything as well, believe in the timing of it and trust that it, you know, it manifestations in my experience, I, you know, they, I always feel like they take a long time coming. <laughs> and of course our human minds want it now. Um, but then when you actually, when manifestations come into fruition, then you're like, oh, yes, this is actually the time that I needed this. Um, so the land of milk and honey. And the last one is this. So take action towards that 
whatever your land of milk and honey is, you know, it's all different for every single one of us. My dream, <laughs> my dream is someone else's complete hell. <laughs> my dream is to have a little chalet caravan by the sea, but to somebody as so to, to my friend, um, he's a dentist and, and uh, extremely wealthy. And so when he, and he was like, yeah, that would be my idea of absolute hell. <laughs> And I was like, oh, well, that's my dream. Um, so that's the thing. We're all so different. So, um, but we all have a shadow, don't we? That's the other thing. We all have a shadow. So no matter what our life is like, the highs, the lows, the everything in betweens, we've all got um, our stuff inside that we need to shine a mirror on to, you know, basically embrace and be you know like we, we need to be our full selves not hiding behind or not afraid to look at what's actually on the inside just like I was afraid to look on that shamanic journeying I was afraid actually at first to look at it anyway so letter 51 the message is this we have the power flowing through our bodies we all have it but only the chosen ones are waking up to switch on the power. By us coming collectively together and switching on our light, then we will empower each other's inner light. We will strengthen our connection to the divine forces of light, the divine forces of creation, which hold the essential power source to the entire cosmos, to everything that is, to everything that will ever be and everything that has ever been. You can't imagine with your human brain how enormous the impact of love is. It will change the planet. It will change us. Quite literally, we are metamorphosizing from the inside out. We are transforming in the power of light. We are becoming translucent, ready to take on the energetic power of divine light. <laughs> okay, well, that's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> So that's what I mean when I think, not in a million years could I have thought to write that. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, I mean, it's just bonkers. So letter 51, we, I'm going to read it again. So we have the power flowing through our bodies. We all have it, but only the chosen ones are waking up to switch on the power. By us coming collectively together and switching on our light, then we will empower each other's inner light. We will strengthen our connection to the divine forces of light, the divine forces of creation, which hold the central power source to the entire cosmos, oh, to everything that is, to everything that will ever be, and everything that has ever been. You can't imagine with your human brain how enormous the impact of love is. It will change the planet. It will change us, quite literally, we are metamorphosizing from the inside out. We are transforming in the power of light. We are becoming translucent, ready to take on the energetic power of divine light. Well, there we go. I am ready for the magic. I'm ready for the miracles. I'm ready for everything that is coming. And I trust, I trust, I trust that that's coming for all of us. So there we go. That is the message for today. I really hope that helps. Wherever you are on your path, then just trust that everything happens in divine timing. And that's the secret to trust it. All right, then I'll be back tomorrow. But in the meantime, I hope you are well. I hope you stay. I can't even remember what I say now. It's gone out of my head. Okay, I'll see you. Bye.